Hello Tangerines from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. The last time we were here about three and a half years ago, we made a video that was a little critical of the city and it, we thought it wasn't for us. But today I want to give it a second chance, so that's what we're going to do. Today for breakfast I'm eating at this restaurant called La Palapa. It was recommended by a friend who has never led me astray, so thank you Andy. This week in Puerto Vallarta, it's just going to be me. Maddie is back in Querétaro. But the last time we were here, one reason why we thought it wasn't for us is because it was more expensive than the other Mexican cities we had been to. But the problem was, at that time, we literally had 50 subscribers on our YouTube channel. So now that our channel's grown a little bit, <laughs> we can afford to do some more things that we couldn't the last time. The last time we, were really, we really had to pinch our pennies and we couldn't afford to go to a nice restaurant like this, for example. Bueno, okay, un jugo verde y también huevos penetinos, jaiba azul, por favor. For breakfast, I decided to go with the green juice, the jugo verde, for 45 pesos, and the blue crab eggs benedict for 155 pesos. Okay, let's give this a try. The food came out really fast, by the way. I couldn't believe it. So this is an eggs benedict with like a chipotle hollandaise sauce and blue crab. Mmm, that's good. I like it. I'm told this is a pretty expensive restaurant, but at least the breakfast menu, it doesn't seem to be terribly overpriced, uh, considering the atmosphere, the view, and everything. I love it out here. There's relaxing music playing, my feet are in the sand, you have the ocean waves crashing with a gorgeous view out to the water. I noticed they had beach chairs here at La Palapa, so I asked about them, what the process is for renting them, and you can reserve them ahead of time. And it doesn't have a cost, it's just that you have to purchase at least 500 pesos worth of food and beverage. If you purchase less than that, well, you still get charged the 500 pesos. And more than that, well, then you pay for whatever you get. But I might just have to do that because I, I like this restaurant and this view is perfect and these chairs look comfortable. So 500 pesos, yeah, I, I, might, I might jump on that. It's only like an eight minute walk back to where I'm staying, but it's up a lot of stairs. And after living in a moderate climate for about a year now, I'm not used to this humidity and I'm just sweating like crazy. So I'm gonna grab an Uber quick and go back to cool off for a little bit. Hola, Sergio. I'll give you guys a quick tour of where I'm staying. It's this place called Villas Loma Linda, and it's in Zona Romantica, right in the heart of all the action here in Puerto Vallarta. Something interesting about Villas Loma Linda is that it has seven floors, but you actually enter on the fourth floor. So you might have to go up or down, depending on where you're staying. I think this is technically in the Zona Amapas, uh, but it's literally right next to Zona Romantica, just a few minutes walking away. Coming in the front door here on the right is the kitchen with a nice little island. It has a dual sink over there along the wall and then another sink in the island. I think that's an awesome feature to have. Nice big refrigerator. And then over here to the left of the front door is the living room with a few couches. Out here, this is the dream. Check this out. Nice big spacious patio with a grill, a table. You have a uh, shade up here that you can roll down if the sun's ever coming in, a jacuzzi, but most of all you have this spectacular view of the sea out here. And right off the patio here is one of the two bedrooms in this place, nice king size bed, another patio of its own, and you wake up to these amazing views of the sea out here. This place is a two bedroom, two bath. The other bedroom here has another king size bed and attached to it is its own bathroom. You have a nice spacious shower, toilet and sink area. Attached to this other bedroom is another bathroom with a very large shower area. Uh, this has been a really nice, nice hot water, great water pressure and very spacious shower. From down here at the pool, you can get a nice view of the layout of this complex. So where I'm staying is on the second level right up here. And then there's five more levels above that. 
I have to give a quick shout out and thank you to our subscriber, Luis, for letting me stay here. This has been a total treat. I love the views. It's really comfortable and just a great location, awesome place to stay. If I were coming to Puerto Vallarta again, I would definitely check out Villas Loma Linda and see if I can find a rental available here. So I'm gonna be honest, it has been super strange to travel alone for the first time in Mexico. And I mean, traveling alone has its challenges. And one of those challenges is how the heck do I put on sunscreen? Like I can reach most places, but yeah, my back, forget it. I'm just gonna be a lobster on my back. I, I'm sure I could find someone to volunteer. I'm trying. It's difficult. <laughs> It's pretty rare to find a pool where we're living in Queretaro because the weather is practically perfect year round and there's not really much use for a pool. So I'm always in shorts and a t-shirt and I get these horrible tan lines. Like on my arms, on my feet, they're just awful. So I'm hoping that this weekend by Arta, spending some time by the pool, out by the beach, so you're not so jealous of my tan. Matt, I totally underestimated how nice it is to have a pool while in Puerto Vallarta. This feels so good. Oh, it's a perfect temperature. By the way, if you're new to our channel, my name is Jordan, and we make videos about our life living in Querétaro, Mexico, and about our travels throughout the country. So if you're interested in videos like that, please subscribe to our channel. Every day I've been walking these very many stairs down and usually Ubering back up the hill when I'm done at the end of the day. <laughs> it's kind of funny when I've been walking through Zona Romantica alone, everyone seems to think I'm gay. And I don't blame them, they're just playing the numbers. A young single guy with an athletic build, yeah, there's a pretty good chance he's probably gay. <laughs> but I'll be walking past a massage place and they'll be like, hey handsome, do you want a massage? <laughs> It's kind of funny, they definitely cater to the clientele here, but anywhere else I've ever been, it's always women offering massages, but here in Zona Romantica, it's always guys offering the massages, and always politely decline, but I just think it's funny that everyone seems to think I'm gay. <laughs> I was wearing my Arizona State hat yesterday, and someone came up to me, and he's like, hey, did you go to ASU? I was like, yes I did. And he said, did you know there's an ASU bar here? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Uh, so I wanted to go check that out uh, because I thought how random in Puerto Vallarta there's a Sun Devil Bar. I told them I was a Sun Devil and they brought me a little courtesy Sun Devil shot. <laughs> I haven't even ordered a thing yet. I asked the bartender for a recommendation and she suggested the passion fruit margarita and that was on point. This thing is so good. As it turns out, the drinks are very strong there, so forgive me if I'm slurring any of my words, but <laughs> I met the owner, his name's Alan, as it turns out. This is one of the oldest bars on the Malacón here. It's been here for 16 years. Uh, the owner, his wife, and his daughter all went to Arizona State, and I left with this hat and a shirt. <laughs> I enjoyed my time there. I would definitely go back. Normally, when I'm going back, to where I'm staying, I take an Uber. But the Devil's Bar has me feeling a little buzz. And I'm like, nah, it's fine. I'll just walk. Well, now that I'm to all the stairs, I'm regretting that decision. I'm so sweaty. I'm breathing so hard. I need a shower. Whew. When you're going down, it doesn't seem too bad. But when you're going up, they never end. I'm just gonna rest here. <laughs> I'm only exaggerating a little bit. I'm really tired. Sweat's just dripping down my face. But I'm almost back to Via Saloma Linda. And I'm gonna take a nice shower and get changed for more stuff later tonight. Stick around. Something I loved about PV the last time we were here were the sunsets. Some of the most incredible sunsets I've seen in my life. Behind me here, you can sort of see the end of one, but 
it's not that great tonight so I'm hoping to show you a much better one some other night during this trip I'm sure we'll see an awesome sunset if you're coming to Mexico one problem I guarantee that you're going to run into is you'll get here and at the end of the day you want to unwind in your room you open up your laptop and all of your favorite websites are all in Spanish instead of Fahrenheit, it's in Celsius, instead of miles, things are now in kilometers, everything's going to be different. Well, if you want to fix this and get back to the English websites you're used to, well, sometimes you can scroll down to the bottom and click English, but a lot of websites make this very difficult or impossible. But what I like to do is use a VPN. A VPN allows you to change your location virtually so you can choose to be in Miami, for example, and all your websites will switch back to English magically. If you want to check out our favorite VPN, you can find it at tangerinevpn.com. This is the only major VPN company I know about that gives you unlimited devices for all your subscriptions so your whole family can use it on their cell phones, their laptops, your TV, everything. Right now they're running a sale. It's 84% off plus four extra months free. Again, if you want to check that out, head on over to tangerinevpn.com. That's our affiliate link and it will take you right to their website. So last time I visited Puerto Vallarta, this restaurant, Pipi's, was one of my favorite. And they have these gigantic margaritas, awesome fajitas, so I had to come back here. Look at this thing! And I forgot about this, but they make fresh guacamole at your table, and there's a live mariachi band playing like a bunch of different hits, anything from country music to Van Morrison, all kinds of stuff, and you can request whatever you want. Gracias, amigo. They always set the fajitas on fire, but I just missed it, unfortunately. Wow. I could hardly believe it. We ordered and then a minute later the margarita came out. Two minutes after that, our entire dinner was here right in front of us. So fast. This gigantic Cadillac margarita was about 175 pesos and we got the shrimp fajitas to share for I think it was 296 pesos. It was definitely under 300. And now the mariachi band is playing Garth Brooks. <laughs> I'm looking at the margarita flavors up here, and one of them is called Blue Peepees. So I decided I do not want a blue peepee, uh, so we went with a Cadillac margarita. I had such fond memories of that place from the last time we were here. I absolutely loved going to Peepees. You know when you go to a place, you love it, and then you go back, and it's just not the same? Well, I am happy to report that's not the case here. It was just as incredible as I remember, if not more so. Highly, highly recommend Pee Pee's Restaurant, and get the fajitas and the margaritas. They're the bomb. Leaving Peepee's restaurant, just a block away, there's all these art galleries, including this incredible looking cafe behind me. It's Cafe des Artistes. And it, I didn't notice it right away, but there's like a mosaic looking face on the front of it, and it looks like a castle. It's super cool. The end of Dia de Muertos is November 2nd, but today is November 4th and I'm pleasantly surprised that there's tons of Dia de Muertos decorations still here on the Malacón. We're right at the beginning of the Malacón here and there's Katrina and right behind me there's a whole bunch of different skulls and other paper mache decorations. One of these Dia de Muertos decorations is a crocodile or an alligator and it reminds me of this Family Feud episode where the question is name an animal with three letters in its name and this guy buzzes in so confident he says 
alligator! <laughs> and then the host of the show is just like, um, okay. Well, the top answer is dog. <laughs> Fun fact, this guy was killed by a coconut falling on his head. But he still loves his coconuts. I think this one is my favorite out here. It's a walrus painted like the skeleton. It's really cool, I love it. There's so many skulls and decorations, just one after another. I love them. They're all painted differently and super unique. This one has a some sea creature on it. Ocelato. Ocelato? Yeah. <laughs> he died of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> he looks drunk. <laughs> I think this is Zeus. Can anyone confirm? Is this Zeus? When it comes to Dia de Muertos, everyone tells you, go to Oaxaca, go to Pátzcuaro, go to Mexico City. But why does no one say, go to Puerto Vallarta? There's so much more here than I was expecting. This is incredible. This is one of the biggest Katrinas I've ever seen. And there's all these other decorations along the Malacón. I love it. This park is super cool. It has all these mosaic colorful designs all over the place. And I don't know if it's related to him in any way, but it totally reminds me of a Gaudi work that I've seen in both Barcelona and in Lima, Peru. There is an insane amount of surface area that's covered by all these tiles. I can't even imagine. I can't fathom how much time this took. This is crazy. For at least a couple of years now, I was thinking that I may have been wrong about Bayartha. And I've only been here a few days so far, but I can tell you that I'm honestly having a blast. And if you're on not on a total shoestring budget, like I was the last time you visited, and it's not a big deal to uh, go to a bar and buy a $5 drink or spend $15 or $30 in a restaurant, well then, I think you're going to have a wonderful time here and that Vallarta is a great place to visit. Thank you guys for watching. I'll have more videos coming out from Puerto Vallarta for you very soon here. And in the meantime, here's a playlist on the screen of other videos that we've made in Mexico so you can keep watching until our next Vallarta video drops. But before you go, please subscribe to our channel and gong that bell so you get notified every time we release a new video and we will see you on Saturday morning.